हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन और पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड टू द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दो आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्ट परस्पेक्टिव दे विल श्योरली हेल्प यू टू रीच अप टू द सर्टेन आंसर नाउ व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द बापी वी डिस्कस्ड दैट बापी इज फंक्शन मॉड्यूल हैविंग ए बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट वंस यू क्रिएट द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट द बापी विल बी डिफाइंड इन द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट रेपोजिटरी एज ऑफ नाउ वट वी डिड आफ्टर रिलीजिंग द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट वी चेक इन टू बापी ट्रांसेक्शन कोड विच इज फॉर बापी एक्सप्लोर बट मेनी टाइम people will check from the business object repository itself yes when we created the business object yes entry will be in the business object repository so you can check the same to same thing through business object repository also but ultimately it will navigate to bapi transaction code only suppose if i will go to swo1 transaction code which is for business object builder if i will go for this business object repository you can see we have a radio button for bapi if i will choose this radio button ultimately this will navigate me to bapi transaction code itself and it is clearly clearly saying only released bapi be are displayed so it's your wish many time people will simply navigate through business object repository or many time people are comfortable in directly going to the bapi transaction code but yes only released bapis will be displayed there now we will go for next important information suppose we will go for simple thing suppose this i will go to sc37 transaction code someone gave you the task that this is the function module check is there any business object available for this or not okay suppose simple or you can go for other task suppose if someone gave you this standard function module and someone gave the task just check is there any business object available for this or not this function module simply what you will do you will check this name this is business object name this is business object name sorry i'll just go to that this is your business object name you will simply simply check into bapi transaction code you will go to bapi transaction code if i will go to bapi you will go to bapi transaction code and you will see there yes employee is available similarly you will go to sales order then you will say yes business object is there but just simply think here we can only only check the released things if the things are not released can you check in bapi transaction code no but it might be the case that business object is created but it has not released yet so you will check in bapi transaction code if it is not released it will not be available in bapi transaction code but still the business object is there but it has not released yet so in that case how how you can check the thing that business object is existing or not existing we have two major tables are there one table will give you the basic information one table will give you the detailed information suppose simple the first table is tog tog tb most important points are going on you can go to this table tog tb this is the table for business object repository but basic data basic so i will go to tog tb 
बिकॉज फ्रॉम बाकी ट्रांजेक्शन कोड यू कैन ओनली चेक इफ द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट इज रिलीज बट इट माइट बी द केस बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट हैज नॉट रिलीज so entry will not come into this bapi transaction code if i will display this statement this is clearly saying business object repository basic data i will go to contents what is the object name employee we put employee in capital just execute you can see everything is there everything is there but we did it in sw01 this is your external identification of business object is this the internal identification yes if you remember when we when we created the business object we generated the business object at the last so it is clearly saying it is generated we gave star at that point of time star means cross application cross application each and everything basic data is there this is the program name just check in sw01 itself if i will show you sw01 parallel you can simply relate each and everything if i will go to this header each and everything is there star is there released is there this is the program name this is the internal identification this is the external identification each and everything is there and lastly you can see we have a release status also r means released so you can check from this table now this is the information basic information basic information but now the question comes how how we will check the component level information see we are only able to check the header information of business object from this table toj tb basic data but what about item detailed information you can go to this table swotlb so i will go to this table important points are going on so i will go to this table i will simply display that table i will go to contents of that table what is our object type z employee employee is a object name is external identification so i am passing z employee i will execute now are we getting the same to same thing see just see this is your this is your method name which you gave sorry this this is your function module is this the function module i will show you if i will double click is this the function module we map yes what is the name of the method create what is the name of the method create we binded what f f function module we binded we binded what if i will double click we binded the function module yes it is the function module we binded so from this table you can check the detailed information if i will show you the sap sap function module suppose someone gave you the task that this is the sap function module check what is the business object of this yes one option you can check in bapi but bapi will only show you the released released your business object so what you can do you can simply simply copy you can simply copy and you can go to toj tb table if i will go to toj tb table i will simply go to this and i will pass the name sales order we know that object name is case sensitive so s n o in capital if i will go for execute you can see same to same we are getting b u s 2032 if i will show you in s w o 1 transaction code we have b u s 2032 for this we have what we have this sales order we have this through we have this sales order and in that table t this s w o t l v you can check the item information if i will show you that table you can simply display that table 
you can pass BUS2032. Yes. And we are going for function module checking. Because if we are checking for function module, I will execute. And just see, you will simply relate. Have we checked this particular thing? Create from DAT2. Yes. I will display. You can see all the information. Is this the function module? Yes. Is this the method name? Yes. So this is the table. You can check the detailed information and important tables from the project perspective because sometimes your task is to just check is this available or not. Now, lastly, I will discuss so many things related to business object. But now the question comes, why, why there is a need of business object? Suppose simply we created the RFC function module. Yes, we created the function module. Can external system not directly access that function module? Why we have a business object? The answer is business object is totally based upon object oriented programming. Yes, external system is connecting with the business object business object behind the business object we have the function module business object dot method name if i will show you most important benefits suppose simply if i will go to sw01 transaction code this is the business object we created external internal identification external identification is your system directly connecting with our is external system is directly connecting with our function module no we have a business object business object dot method name and after that that business object dot method is connecting with the function module so there is no direct access of the external system to the function module we have a business object and just see it is totally, totally a data hiding. In the future, when we have a difference between RFC and BAPI also, at that time, it, this difference will play a vital role. BAPI has a business object, but RFC do not have a business object. So in case of BAPI, the external system is connecting with the business object business object is helping to connect with the RFC function module. So business object, what is the first significance? Business object level, non-SAP system can communicate with SAP system. And how we are doing this thing? Through BAPI. Now, second point, business object are the entry point of the data. Data is not directly passing to the, our RFC function module. It is firstly coming to business object. Then it is passing to our RFC function module. So they are the entry point of data and functions. Third important benefits, which will be our future topics also. You can use the business object in the workflow and ALE also. ALE is the part of IDOC. And our full topic is BAPI with IDOC interface. So in the future, we will use this in a ALE. ALE means ALE is the part of IDOC. Just wait. You will automatically realize in the future how we will use this in the IDOC. So you can say ALE. So what is the summary of the video? This video is very important from the project perspective how you can check the business object information in two tables. The first table is TOJTB, which is the basic level table and SWOTLV is the detailed information level table. Then we discuss the importance of business object. Why business object? If the external system can directly connect with RFC, because business object is the outer layer. It is providing the data security mode. So external system 
will connect with business object business object will pass the data to the rfc function module then they act as a entry point and we can use the business object in workflow also in ale also ale means it is a part of idoc and in the future you will automatically realize how you can use the business object in the idocs so that's it in the video in the next video we will start with idocs part thank you very much thank you